Got so it. do you think it's fair to say that either there is an inclination towards the full acceptance of the visceral experience that the person is going through, or there is a resistance towards viscerally feeling what the experience is of the person? Yes. And there, obviously, there's a whole spectrum and range of degrees. And it's always important, even in giving that kind of analysis of looking at, there might be things viscerally that you're experiencing that you don't want to. Some of them might be self-created. Some of them might be a feedback loop that you have created for yourself. And so we want to look at that. And then also there might be, you know, like I myself, have um, a chronic sleep disorder, which often produces very uncomfortable physical sensations in my body. Um, so like me as an individual, we could say, you know, I'm not creating these sensations. They are happening. So how am I managing them? How am I living with them? And, you know, there's lots of different ways that people experience things that are uncomfortable or viscerally encountered um, that might be mental, emotional, physical, any combination of those. And that it's not that we just want to tell people like, okay, so you feel miserable. Great. Feel that all the way. You know, sometimes <laughs> when people do feel miserable, you know, they want to put on um, a face that says, oh, I'm not miserable, or I'm managing, or I'm doing okay. But maybe underneath that, maybe there's some grieving and sorrow that needs to take place. Maybe there's even some anger that needs to be released. So it is about looking at, is, is, the, authentic, is the experience being processed as authentically and as fully as possible? And, mm -hmm. you know, as a general, general rule, this is really, really vague, but often it's the case that um, women are much more accessible to their emotional spectrum than men are. And often when working with men, they might say like, oh yeah, I can access anger like really easily, but like nothing else. Um, and then also because the way people are socialized, um, men, for example, do tend to deny pain more than women do, um, whether it's physical pain, mental pain, emotional pain. So there's, there's always, well, almost always ways that we can help people access you know, these deeper states. And then also, since I'm just making very generic comparisons mm -hmm. on the female side of things, um, this is largely, I think, due to socialization, that there's much more a tendency for women to try and be pupil pleasers and to serve others and to put other people's needs and desires and comforts ahead of their own. Mm -hmm. um, so there are ways that people... Um, are not optimized in their direct experience of loving and caring for themselves and that they take on different either gendered or social roles that they then perform as that often prevent them from loving themselves unconditionally and being happy. And even, even there that, um, you know, a lot of times people in the the spiritual world or the therapeutic world or the, the spiritual therapeutic world, they talk about how, well, you can manifest anything you want in your life and that the abundance is available for everyone. And that if you really get clear on all of this stuff, that you'll just be happy and satisfied and nurtured all the time. And that's just another really deep pathological layer of bullshit right there. Mm -hmm. Cause that's mm -hmm. just, it's just not true. Um, and so helping people discover the truth within themselves, I think that that's the most important thing that we can do. And again, it's often really uncomfortable doing that and uncovering where are our patterns of compensation or self-delusion that are getting in the way of really being present. Because sometimes reality will make you mad. Sometimes it will hurt. Sometimes it will be unsatisfying. Sometimes it will be terrifying. And sometimes it will be what you don't want, but that's what reality is. And then other times it will be ecstatic. It will be pleasurable. It will be rewarding. It will be abundant. But to mm -hmm. walk around with the idea of everything's going to go my way forever and I'm just going to be perfect and totally self-regulated and everything's going to be awesome, that that is just spiritual gaslighting. So I'm, I'm really opposed to that. But I think I've gotten off on a tangent. So 
I'll pull back and let you ask your it's next fine, question or make fine, your next fine. comment. Yeah. 